Hi, I'm Kara, and this is my best friend Mallory. We've been best friends for nearly 18 years. We were born and raised in California, and there's nothing we love more than exploring the beaches. This beach is called Lover's Point in Pacific Grove, and it's one of our favorites. We like the beach all year round, but we especially love to come in these winter months, like January, because there's not many people around, and it just feels like we're exploring in our own little world, searching for starfish and hermit crabs. so, so excited about the hermit crabs. And I don't think the hermit crabs were quite as excited about us, but look at those guys, so cute. Our friend Abstract came along with us. He's a talented photographer and videographer, and I'm feeling very fortunate to be able to have him help document these moments with my best friend so that we can have these videos to cherish forever and look back on when we're old and remember the time that we used to play on beach rocks. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and these videos will be worth a million novels. For two nights, we stayed in a cabin at Ripplewood Resort in Big Sur. It sits right on the Big Sur River. Although our stay would be brief, I brought plenty of lights, decorations, candles, lots of things to make it very cozy. I like to romanticize my life. Everything in life is temporary. Life itself is temporary, and that's what makes it special. So make every moment beautiful and special. We picked up flowers on the way to make bouquets together. I love having fresh flowers around, and I really enjoy creating the bouquets myself. What's nice about flowers is that you don't take them for granted. They won't be around long enough to even gather dust, so you just admire them every chance that you get. The last petal falling off the rose, a nice sculpture melting on your toes. Some of your days there will be tears rolling down your nose. This life of impermanence is just what we chose. In this moment, nothing else existed outside of the cabin walls. Surrounded with love and beauty, we enjoyed some hot tea by the fire. I knew we wouldn't have cell phone reception, but I did not think about the fact that we wouldn't have access to Spotify, so all we had to listen to for our entire stay was one Taylor Swift album. I like to put on my favorite Chanel perfume before bed. I don't save things for special occasions, because today is a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion, so... Wear the nice perfume, wear the nice blouse. Today is the day. After a peaceful night of sleep, listening to the rainfall on the roof, we made a healthy little breakfast that we ate out of the same bowl. I don't know why we do that. After breakfast, we head down to the river for a cold plunge. It was sprinkling out and it was in the 40s Fahrenheit. This was my first cold plunge in nature and it was a beautiful moment. Much more exhilarating than doing a cold plunge in a man-made pool. 
After watching this back, I've decided that I need to practice swimming without plugging my nose because between that and the water shoes, I'm looking really cool. <laughs> We raced back to the cabin, we were so cold, and this isn't what it looks like. The shower in the cabin was literally like 18 inches wide, and we both needed to warm up ASAP. We took a drive to Carmel and stopped for some brunch, explored their cute little downtown. We found this cute little cottage that was a candy shop, so of course we had to go check that out and get some fudge, which was absolutely delicious. No regrets. And shout out to Abstract, thank you for the slow motion. I know the leotard might seem a little out of place, but we thought we might be able to get some cool pictures. Instagram underscore Kara underscore Pedersen to see the epic shots we got. We stopped to enjoy the scenery wherever we could, wherever we saw something that we thought looked cute. And if you're wondering where Mallory is, well, it was just a little chilly out. I don't mind, but she's in the car, bundled up and cozy. I thought this little plaza was so cute and it was completely empty, so again, there I go just walking around, pretending I'm in my own little world. of a sweet tooth so when we saw this bakery you know we had to check it out and oh my goodness the desserts here were probably the best I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> 